In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at setting up fixed assets and running depreciation for a US based business. Let's head into Zero and take a look, but before we do, it'd be great if you like the video and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel because that's what helps me to continue creating these videos on a regular basis. Okay, let's take a look at setting up fixed assets for a US business in Zero. So we're going to go to Accounting, we're going to go to Advanced, and we're going to choose Fixed Asset Settings. Just to show you, we could also have got there Back on the dashboard, if we go to accounting, scroll down and we have fixed assets here. And then we need to choose settings. So a quick reminder, on our chart of accounts, we have two categories for fixed assets at this stage. And we'll only work with these two. We've got office equipment, 150, computer equipment, 160. So we're going to start by creating our asset types. So these are our asset types for depreciations. They might be the same as the chart of accounts. They could be different. In our case, they're going to be the same. So we're going to say computers. Now Zero asks us, where will we code a purchase of computer to? It's 160. The depreciation, where will that go to? It's 161. And then where will the depreciation go in the income statement? It's code 700. Okay, so what do we want as the depreciation method? If we click on the drop down, I'm going to choose straight line. That's the most straightforward one, but we could possibly choose declining balance, or then we've got the two further declining balance options as 150% and 200. So just to explain this, if you chose declining balance and said you're going to depreciate over four years, the first year's depreciation would be twice that. So instead of 25%, it would be 50%. We're going to choose the easy one, straight line. Then it asks us, how do you want to calculate the depreciation monthly? Do you want each month to be the same? That's what full month means, or actual days. So for example, if we chose actual days, it would mean February's depreciation would be less than March's depreciation because there's 28 days and not 31. We'll say full month. And then we've got two choices here, just which one is easier for you. We're going to assume that computers are going to last for three years. So we could fill in a percentage rate, that's 33.333 and keep going if we want, or we can choose the effective life and fill in three here. I'm going to do that and I'm going to save. And I'm going to add one more. Office equipment, code 150, accumulated depreciation 151, income statement code 700. Again, I'm just going to say it's straight line, average and method, I prefer full month, the same each month of the year. And we are going to say, we think our office equipment will last five years. So we could say five here, or we could put a rate of 20%. We'll put in 20% as a rate and save. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter a bill. Bear with me, I'm just going to say it's from the computer store. It was bought on the 1st of January. It's a laptop and it cost a thousand dollars. I'm going to approve. And then I'm going to show you what happens if I go to accounting and if I go to fixed assets. There is one further thing. I've got to confirm when I want to start using fixed assets in Zero. So it's going to be the 1st of January. And then look what's happened. My laptop has appeared as a draft. If I click on the asset number, I can make any changes. So we know it's a laptop. We know the purchase date and we know the purchase price already. If there's a warranty and serial number and you wanted to put that information in zero, you could. Asset type, we've already set them up. If it wasn't set up, you could sneakily do it here. We're going to say computers. If we needed a description, we can fill that in. Depreciation start date is going to be the date of purchase. And it's filled in the information that we have already said that when the asset type is computers, it's going to be straight line and it's going to be full month. The asset account is 160, depreciation 161 on the balance sheet and on the income statement, the cost of depreciation code 700. 
I'm going to register my asset and then the next thing we do in Zero with our fixed assets is run depreciation. You can run it a month at a time. If we needed to go right up to March, we could. So let's choose March and choose Confirm. So if we go back to our list of assets, select our laptop. If we scroll down, what we can see, if we choose Show All, we can see that it's been depreciated for the month of January, February, and March. A little bit of rounding going on with zero here, but it's pretty much the same amount each month, regardless of the fact that February has 28 days and March has 31. We can also view the journal that zero has entered. So there you see depreciation, cost to the income statement, and accumulated depreciation to our balance sheet. If we go to the income statement, it's defaulting to this financial year. There we can see the three months depreciation figure. If we change it to this month, month of March, we now can see one month's depreciation. If we wanted to compare it with two periods, an update, now we can see January, February and March depreciation. Likewise, if we go back to accounting and if we choose our balance sheet this time, if we change it to the end of last month, I'm just choosing the options that are easy to select, update, there we can see the fixed asset, the laptop purchased for $1,000, less two months depreciation, and there's the net book value of it as at the 28th of February. If we wanted to change the date, we could go back to the 31st of January, and there is the cost of the laptop, less the depreciation, with the book value $972.22. So that is a very quick look at setting up your fixed assets and calculating depreciation in zero. I hope you find the video useful and wherever you are, until next time, happy zeroing.